Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so happy that you're joining uh, me this morning. And, and um, so I want to jump in by talking about how thrilling it is to be able to share live music again. And, and after all this time, what's it, how, how much have you performed and what's it been like? Well, as it turns out, I performed a lot during the pandemic, but of course I performed in my living room right away. And uh, I learned how to be my own sound engineer and camera person and uh, I learned how to do EQ. I bought machines, I had microphones sent to the house. The pandemic was actually not um, without art. It was just uh, a sudden technological uh, experiment for how much I could learn and how quickly. And so I found it exciting to be asked to be a part of so many events like Sondheim's 90th birthday and all these live streams, the Seth Rudetsky and Broadway people and charities, lots and lots of charities. And um, I felt involved and I felt the impulse of theater people, which is to the show must go on in yes. a way. So there was an impulse that we don't stop, that we don't give up and whatever's happening, we, if we're wanted, we lend our spirit and our voices and our hope. The music would cheer all of us up anyway, as we would do it. So it was a little hairy, but I never really stepped out. You know, we kind of, uh, we, we were kind of in the same boat. We invested in technology. We were really terrible at it in the beginning and <laughs> uh, we got better and, and we learned a lot, uh, but there's still nothing like uh, being in the same room with people as they start coming back. And you mentioned Sondheim, the, the birthday celebration, uh, when you were last with us, you did a Sondheim tribute, and I don't know if you remember this or if you if you know, but that summer we actually did a production of Sunday in the Park with George on the main stage, and I will never in my life forget sitting at your concert when you sang Move On mm -hmm. in that crazy arrangement that I've never heard anything like it, and I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. It was so, the entire room was elevated to another place. It was so special. Yeah, I have to say, it doesn't happen all the time to the degree it happened in Katuit. It's a, but it does, it's getting to be something where everybody recognizes that song. That song, for anyone out there who doesn't know, is the final, uh, kind of the final wisdom of, uh, of Sunday in the Park with George. The central idea being that whatever's happening in our lives, we have to keep moving on. That the choices we make may be mistaken, but choosing is never mistaken. So we have to choose and we have, so I find it a very uh, spiritual song and a song kind of to live by, um, that we will always be judged by other people. And it's a lot about making art, but it's really, uh, it can live beyond art. The idea that whatever people think of us, they will always think something, but we have to keep moving on our next important thing is is um is our next goal and that's gold whatever you need to do have to do uh make a strong choice and and do it and um so it it's a it's a profound song and my piano player who i'm bringing back oh to you God. on friday i'm so happy to say is a very rare person. So what I do really depends on what Ted can do. And together we take that song to another place. And the music we're going to do on Friday has the potential to also tap into that similar uh, spirit of life. And uh, maybe this time a little more about love and, and the risks that we take for love and the, the, the way we heal each other by loving each other. There's some sexy ideas in there. But Ted at the piano, um, like with Move On, can take songs to another place uh, because he follows. It's like having a full orchestra with you. I mean, he it is. His, his his ability, his pianistic abilities were 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 mind blowing, and, and and you're such a great duo. You're such a your your communication together on stage is really is really something. And you you talked a little bit about working on the the grand show when you were at Katu at last, and we were hoping yeah. to have it. Uh, uh, last year, uh, but we're 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 sure glad you're back. And and what is your what is your connection, or how how would you sum up how you feel about this this body of work, or what people will experience on Friday? 
Well, what you really get when you're when you're starting with Michel Legrand, which we're not only singing Michel Legrand, but Michel Legrand was a, was a French composer. Uh, he was born in the late 20s. He came up through a time where everybody was enchanted by Cole Porter and all the great classic songbook, um, American jazz based Broadway songs, of which I'm going to do quite a few in Katuit. What inspired Michel, like a lot of Europeans, was this sound of American Broadway that had a mix of jazz and, and even even r and and classical music. It was the unique thing that created the classic sound of Broadway in the 40s and 50s. Michel Legrand was a young genius in Paris and he right away uh, absorbed all these different styles. And he came to um, work with Johnny Mercer when he was only 18 and Johnny Mercer was an elderly man. So Michel Legrand right away was mixing with the great American writers. And um, it wasn't long before Michel Legrand uh, left Paris, really, and became an icon in Hollywood. And he wrote songs for Barbra Streisand, got an Oscar nomination practically every year. And um, for many decades, actually, if you look it up, it's quite shocking how many nominations and, of course, many Oscars. But Michel Legrand is this, this dazzling, romantic Hollywood writer uh, who came to Broadway and wrote a beautiful Broadway musical. And I was the star of that musical. So that's how I met him. Um, that's one way that I met him. You also could say I met him as a child because my own father was a piano player and always played his music at home. And I would see my mother get very romantic with my dad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she would come over to the piano and get all sort of cozy. And I thought, what is this music? You know, so uncannily, I met Michel Legrand on Broadway, was the lead in his play. And we hit it off. He was older, but he became like a mentor. Melissa, come. And he would write me new music. So I'm going to tell you all about this relationship. But it's not just the man. I knew him so well. It's the adventure that he represents. The adventure of love, the adventure of creativity. It's different than Sondheim, which is so intellectual and so um, heightened and ideas based. And for anybody who follows Sondheim, he's a specific taste very, very much upstairs. Michelle Legrand is right here. Absolutely. And so I'm so happy. He's so warm and life affirming and, and sensual. And I think we're going to have a very different, but very free and fun night of music in Katuit. Well, I can't wait. And, and for, for everyone watching this, um, please go get your tickets uh, while they're still available. It is a night of music you will never forget. Uh, it's, it's very, very special. And um, um, so, Melissa, I will uh, let you go now, and I can't wait to see you on Friday and, and give you a big hug and, uh, and then sit back and relax and, and have a beautiful evening of music myself. I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, thank you. I mean, you will relax. Here's the thing. This music is so different than difficult Broadway music or uh, even shrill music. This is like what we need right now. It is... It's not that it's soft, it's loving. It's loving and it's, it's, I think it's gonna ease people back into a positive feeling about summer. And uh, you don't have to cheer and we can wear masks if you want to, whatever. But, but it's just, I, I think this is the perfect kind of embrace for the summer that we're having. And I, I have one dress that I've been waiting and it's only for Katuit. So oh. I'm looking forward to that. Oh. Okay. I, I said, well, I have a too. gown. It's only <laughs> for you. No one has ever seen this dress, and I'm saving it for your beautiful stage, and I'm so happy to come back. Fantastic. Well, I'll see you Friday night. Bye.